You know, if anybody remembers, I made a burial video discussing about Rihanna, the pop singer. Well, people say that she's an R&B singer. Some people say she's a she's a rocker. She's hardcore. Well, she's none of that. The woman is a pop singer. She doesn't even make any soulful music, that which is what R&B is supposed to be. And I'm sick and tired of these damn people coming out saying, Oh, I'm an R&B singer, but I make pop music. Where's your R&B music? I only want to get into that. Another video for another time about R&B and shit like that. But Rihanna, I've got a lot of people commenting. Some people said, you know, they agree with me. They said she sucks. Fuck Rihanna and stuff like that. But then was people who would bash me and say my hair is nappy. I got big lips. I'm hideous looking. I'm a hater. I don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. And this and then the third. And to those individuals, I say, fuck you. Go fuck your mothers. And then there's people out there who weren't being mean, but they were kind of saying the same thing. Like, come on, TG, are you really going to sit there and say that Rihanna has no real skills? The girl is very talented. Well, no, she's not very talented. And this video is going to be a follow-up and, and just squashing all of those claims about Rihanna being this great, epic singer. So people want to talk about her singing ability is on point. Her singing ability is great. Her singing ability is top notch or is good or is decent. Well, first of all, I don't want just decent singing. I want good to great singing. Where's the good to great singing? I don't want just, eh, it's okay. No, I want good to great singing. And Rihanna is, she barely cracks as just being a mess singer. Because in the studio, she's... But on the stage, she's not that good. And to all you people out there who think Rihanna's such a great, wonderful singer, how is that possible when you're in the studio, when you have engineers trying to help you sing better by using voice enhancements or doubling up on the voice and all that, but on the stage, you don't sound as good. It's like, it's, it's phony. It's bullshit. bullshit! And people still believe that Rihanna is such an awesome singer. How? She's not a good singer. And here's more proof. You see this right here on the screen right now? She uses the third octave. Now, some people may be looking this, at this and saying, what does that even matter? Does it even mean a damn thing in this case? Well, yes, it does. Because this next picture right here proves that... The third octave range is average at best. The third octave range is like, you know, just about anyone could do that. I mean, you, a, a, a novice singer can sing like that, and just about anybody who can carry a tune can sing on the third octave. And you're going to tell me that Rihanna is such a great singer, that she's the best? Okay, quit thinking with your dick, or quit thinking with your vagina, and think with your mind. You know, the thing upstairs in your cranium that damn near every human should have but most don't use nowadays. Yeah. Use it. You was born with it, fucking use it. That's how humanity succeeded better than all sorts of other species on this planet. Use it! And then there's people out there who say that she has great songwriting ability. Again, I'm gonna show you some more evidence that that's bullshit, because you, as you can see right here,
yes, ladies and gentlemen, Rihanna uses ghost writers and not just one, not just two, but it could be five, it could be seven, it could be ten people writing songs for her, helping her out. And sometimes she don't even write the song at all, meaning that she had other people to do it for her. And don't give me that bullshit, it's because she's busy. Well, there's a lot of people that's busy in the mainstream media. Well, how come Taylor Swift can write her own songs? What about Demi Lovato? What about Ariana Grande? These three are big pop stars. And they actually can actually song write. They're very popular, they're very busy, but they have time to write their own songs. And I think they have Lady Gaga too. If these females can do it, how the fuck Rihanna can't do it. She has to have help, but she's so creative. That also calls out her creativity skills. She's not really even creative. Why does she need help if she's so great at it? Well, that means that she's not great. And that's more proof right there that Rihanna is not as, she's not this unsung heroine of the music industry as you people might like to think. And then there was somebody who told me about her production skills. Okay, first of all, she's not a producer. <laughs> all right, she doesn't. She, come on, man. What the the, the the music videos that you see her in is not her idea. It's the record label telling her to do it because she's a brand. That's her brand. And what is her brand? Being sex appealing. Because Rihanna deep down knows, and I'm sure people that work with her, the engineers, the producers, the A&Rs, every single one of them knows that Rihanna has no real skills. So she has to go out there, dress all seductive, and wear all these expensive fly clothes and shit to make herself look good. And I'm, I'm fed up with it, right? It's, it's been done way too many times, especially recently, showing her ass and trying to look all sexy. Have you seen Diamonds? Have you seen Umbrella? How she tried to look all sexy. What about that shut up and drive song when she tried to wear them booty shorts? Come on. Get real. Them little Daisy Dukes. She be wearing leotards and stuff like that. High heel boots. Wearing all these expensive glasses. Her hair done in so many extravagant outfits. And her fingernails looking like, come on, man. Every pop singer since the 80s have done that shit. In the 90s. In the 2000s. In the last decade. They've been doing it and they will continue to do it. Oh, sex sells. Yeah, okay. Well, but that comes to show you that Rihanna has no skills. She has to use her body. She has to use her clothing. Well, why don't you get into modeling, woman? Why don't you get into porn if you want to sell your your body? I hate it when artists try to sell their body just to compensate their lack of talent. It's complete, it's, it's complete BS, man. Straight bullshit! bullshit! And then I want to get into her dancing because there's some many people out there that believes that Rihanna is a great dancer. She's a great dancer, people? Huh? Do I have to show the clips again? Do it a video! <laughs> Yeah, dancing. She's a great dancer. Oh yeah, she she has so much rhythm. Okay. Fucking Chris Brown can dance better than this woman. Hell, Chris Brown has more talent than Rihanna. And I'm not a Chris Brown fan, but I will say that Chris Brown has a hell of a lot more talent than Rihanna. Rihanna lacks any of that shit. I would, you know, here's the funny thing too. I would actually let all of that slide if she at least knew how to play at least a guitar or a, 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 a piano or she can you know play the drums or she can go on a DAW like if it you know Fruity Loops or something like that a garage band and make music like that 
No, she doesn't do any of that. She's not an engineer. She's not a producer. She's not a DJ. She doesn't make any music at all. And that goes back to what I said about her not knowing how to write her own songs alone by herself. That comes to show that her creativity skills is not there. When she can't sing, she can't dance, she don't write her songs at all, and if she does, she has help with it, and she can't, she she can't do anything, man. So I don't understand why is people out there, yeah, Rihanna is the best. Is it because you're drinking her vagina juice? Are you are you so caught up with her vagina juice so bad that you 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 wanna you wanna marry her? You wanna do this? You wanna do that? Look, I don't care how hot the girl is. I don't care how pretty she is. Just because she has the good looks, that doesn't mean she's actually great. She's a corporate, mainstream, manufactured artist. She's, she's not real, you know. She's real, yeah, but she's not real. And that and that comes to show you why her albums haven't been selling that well because her song "Anti Anti Whatever" has sold pretty damn poor. Some may say, well, she actually sold a million copies. Well, it's been proven that that shit was fake. Because somebody was buying a lot of those albums. Because in real life, her actual album sales was like 400 and something worldwide. That's pathetic. That's not good. Especially for a mainstream superstar like Rihanna. Hopefully, more people can understand where I'm coming from. Maybe there's people out there who's gonna still say I suck, I have big lips, I have nappy hair, I'm a faggot, I'm a douchebag, I'm this, I'm that. Cause a lot of you Rihanna fans, y'all need to hear this shit. Now, am I gonna come after you and say, oh, you need to die, you should go to hell because you listen to Rihanna? No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come at you like that. If you love listening to her music, go right ahead. I don't give a rat's ass, quite frankly, if you love listening to her music. But you need to understand that your girl, Rihanna, ain't the best. She's not even decently good. She's not half bad. She's not even mad. She sucks, okay? She really does suck. And that video of me burying her ass was warranted. Call me all the types of names that you want. It's not going to phase me. It's not going to beat the arguments. I'm just going to delete the comments and just go, just keep going about my day. That's it. The end. Because your words don't mean shit. It don't go anywhere. It don't phase me. Fuck y'all. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, 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 look. You think I should try it? You think, you, you think, people, you think I should really try this? I don't know. Make your own piece and win a trip to the Grammys. Hmm. I don't know, man. I mean, I make music. Should I? Should I really try the sweepstakes? I mean, it's a win-lose-win -win situation. I win by getting my music notarized by a larger group of individuals. But at the same time, I get to look at and listen to a bunch of crappy music and see a bunch of artists who don't deserve a motherfucking plaque win a plaque in person. VIP, you get to meet Billie Eilish. Oh, that's the dream. Yeah, I wanted to meet Stone Cold Steve Austin. Does this look like Stone Cold Steve Austin to you? Hell no. But whatever. You you people in the comment section, you let me know. Please, no, I'm serious. Let me know. You think I really should try this? Should I really try to attempt this very own sweep state I mean I got a lot of time too because it's like what it's gonna be it's gonna be ending in like what in November so I don't know make a decision now